the Tipsy Artist, and I do the world's largest paint parties. My mission in life is to teach everybody how to paint. Everybody! And now with this DVD, you can have the Tipsy Artist in the comfort of your very own home. So you can add personality to your painting with all groups of ages. I encourage you to pause or rewind the DVD so that you can work at your own pace. This Art and Structure Painting Party is sponsored by Royal and Lane Nickel. They are the makers of the Royal Soft Grip Paint Brushes and the Royal and Lane Nickel Acrylic Paint. It's smooth, thick, and creamy for a one coat application. It has a rich pigmentation, so a little goes a long way. And the brushes are super durable, comfortable, water resistant, and they have synthetic hairs for smooth application. I've given each of these brushes a fun name to remember. This is Big Daddy, Mama, and Little Bit. So remember, as the tipsy artist, I have two rules. Number one, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. Number two, every painting is divine with a little more wine. So let's get this party started. Excited. I need everybody to raise their glass with me and on the count of three we're all going to yell tipsy. So here we go. One, two, two three, tipsy! Awesome, that was very good. Thank you so much for coming today. My name's Tiffany and I'm the Tipsy Artist. <laughs> Today we are painting Love Owls, so I'm going to start by painting the really pretty aqua part of the sky, and then we're going to work on a fade technique, and we're going to fade into the golden parts of our sky, and then we're going to come in with that red part of our sunset. So I'm going to be starting with my Big Daddy brush. This is your largest brush, and I need to go ahead and get him loaded up, but the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to... Make sure he's a little bit moist, so I'm going to dip him into the water. Then I want to make sure and remove any excess water from the brush by dragging it on the edge of the bucket. And then I want to make sure and dry him off with the paper towel. Make sure and dry off the handle and dry off the brush. The reason why this is so important is because if you have excess water on your brush, and you go to apply pressure on your canvas, it will make a water run with that paint that looks a lot like a mascara run. So the best way to prevent that is just to make sure and dry off your brush really well. So now our brush is ready to go. He's nice and moist, but he is dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and load him up with paint, and I'm going to apply Big Daddy here into the aqua paint. So I'm gonna push back and forth. All right, he's nice and loaded. And now I'm gonna to start to apply paint to my canvas. So I'm gonna to start to apply paint in a horizontal stroke at the top of my canvas. I wanna make sure that the flat side of my brush is facing the canvas, so my handle is actually out to the side. I also want to add white as I go throughout this process, so I'm gonna dip my brush into the white paint Grab a little bit of white paint and push that through in a horizontal stroke as well. Then I will alternate back and forth 
between the aqua paint and the white paint. I will continue using the aqua and white paint for about three inches from the top of the canvas. As I do this stroke, I want to make sure that my hand goes completely back and forth across the entire width of the canvas. This will give you a long fluid motion and it will eliminate any brush strokes that might occur from stopping and starting. about to start the fade and it's really crucial to have nice wet aqua paint to work with because wet paint mixes with wet paint and if one of these layers gets set up and dries then you're going to have a hard line between the two paints to try to come together. So I've got fresh wet aqua paint that is coming across this very last layer and while this is still nice and wet then I want to come back in with some of my gold and my white so that I get a nice fade between the two colors. All right, so we were just using the Big Daddy brush to push in the aqua paint, and I need to go ahead and give him a bath because I'm gonna have to use him for the gold and white paint that's coming in next. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of white and then push that into the gold. All right. And my aqua paint is still nice and wet here, and I need to do a slight overlap over the top of that. And I need to apply pressure with a pretty firm hand to go ahead and have those two fade into each other. accomplished my fade then I really need to go ahead and wash off this brush so that it's just pure gold and cream the cream color of gold and white that's extending down the rest of the canvas so I'm going to grab some more of this white push into the gold and we're gonna to start to paint the golden part of our sky. And I'm going to alternate now back and forth between that pure white paint and the gold, pushing those two colors back and forth.
right, now we're ready to start the fade between this golden part of our sky and the red section of our sky. So again, I need to make sure that I have a nice wet section here that's ready to fade into my red. So it's ready to go. And then I'm going to move quickly and rinse out Big Daddy and get him prepared with the red paint. All right, so we're ready to move into the red now. So my Big Daddy brush is nice and clean, moist, but dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press into the red paint. And I'm gonna have a little bit of overlap as I softly fade into that golden sky. Light, gentle touch here. All right, now that I've got my fade worked in, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my brush so that I can remove all the gold from the paintbrush, and then we'll just have pure red working down into the bottom of the painting. My brush is all clean and moist, and so, and he's dry. I'm gonna make sure and dry him off. And now I'm gonna push into the pure red paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and work this into the bottom section of the painting. You can also do a little touch of crimson if you like, and the way we accomplish that is we add just a tiny amount of black to it. So I don't want to pick up black, but I just want to barely dip the corner of my brush into a little bit of black. And that's about all you're going to need, because a little bit of black goes a very long way. And I'm going to push a lot more red back into that to blend that out. We are done with our beautiful sunset sky, and now we need to go ahead and let all of this set up and dry. So we need to let our background set up and dry for at least 20 minutes, and then when we come back, we'll be ready to trace our templates over our sunset sky. All right, it is now time to start painting again, and our background is all set up and dry. And so now we have our lovely tree template. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on our canvas, and I'll make sure I have my pencil so that we can trace around the tree shape on our canvas.
Next step is we're going to go ahead and trace our owls. We have one owl shape and you can flip it either direction on this side or flip it this way to have them facing each other. You can add more than one owl or just have one owl be creative. You can make a family or even just one. It is time to start painting our black tree. So I'm going to be starting with the Big Daddy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and load Big Daddy up with black paint. So I'm going to press back and forth into the black paint. It's very important that I have a nice line edge. And then I'll be using the line edge and holding the brush like a pencil to first paint the outline of the tree. have the outline painted around the tree, then I can go ahead and use the flat side of the brush to paint the inside of the tree.
we're done painting the basic outline and filling in the tree. So now I need to go ahead and switch brushes. So I'm going to switch from Big Daddy to my Little Bit brush because now we need to paint the owls. All right, so I have my Little Bit brush and I'm going to go ahead and load him up in some black paint. I'm going to start by twisting the head of the brush into the paint. This loads the brush, but it also twists the head of the brush into a nice fine point. We're going to continue on with our little bit brush and now we're going to start to do all of our little swirlies on our branches and make our thin wispy little branches. All right, before we do our first swirl, I'm going to go ahead and load my brush, twisting it into the paint. Make sure I get a nice fine point. And then you want to think about making a circle and then go with a circle inside of a circle. Go ahead and give that a double coat. And for your little branches, you want to always make sure and paint in the same direction that a tree grows. And then lift off with a light hand. And you can make lots of little Y's or V's.
All right, I finished painting all the black branches and swirls and tiny little branches that come off of the tree. And so now I need to go ahead and switch over to red. We want to keep on using our little bit brush, but I need to give little bit a bath and then dry him off and then we'll go into our red paint. But the first thing that I want to do is I need to add a little bit of water to the red paint in order to have it be very fluid on the canvas. This is very thick, high quality paint, and so we need a little bit of water to act as an extender. And when you're making a leaf, you just want to think about making a parenthesis. So I'm going to start by making one parenthesis, and then another parenthesis, and then just fill that in. So I'm going to be making lots of leaves. Remember to place them at different angles to give it some variety. And then we also have little dots. And when I make a little dot, I grab a little bit more paint on the end of the brush, and then I just press down on my canvas. And this is a time to be very creative, have fun, relax during this process. You don't have to have a lot of leaves or even just a few little leaves. You can be minimal or have a whole lot of leaves. It's up to you. Uh, but just have fun and kind of sprinkle them all throughout your tree design. And make happy leaves. Happy, happy leaves.
All right, so we've made lots of beautiful, happy leaves, and now it's time to sign our masterpiece. So I need to give a little bit a bath, and we need to load up with some black paint, and then we'll be all finished. <music> completed our masterpiece and thank you so much for painting love owls with me give yourselves a little round of applause yeah.